What is up, obscure tech folks? On my other channel, I say obscure mic people. I, I don't do that here. Today, I've got with me the Vitaid uh, HFR 60 frames per second 1080p webcam. $39.99 on Amazon with a 40% off coupon. So you're looking at 25 bucks or less. 60 frames per second, 1080p, which is my preferred format on YouTube. I like 1080p, 60 frames per second. I was looking for a webcam to do B-roll with. And on the, the last Obscure Mics video, which was a Saramonic SRR1, I used this webcam to do B-roll. So I angled it down, shot my product video, all that good stuff. Uh, I'll sh demonstrate that in a few minutes with this. But first, this is OBS, no filters applied yet, just set to 1080p, 60 frames per second. For 25 bucks, I think it looks pretty good. Now we're going to play around with some filters real quick and just see if we can add a little to this because it is, you know, my forehead's a little bright. Uh, the background where I've got the white obscure tech logo, like the, it, it's, it's a little shaky. You got a little bit going on there. The blacks behind me, not real deep, nothing like that, but still for B roll footage, let's, let's just, let me show you. Um, it, it, it actually works. It, 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 it works really well. So I'm going to take this camera and I'm going to point it straight down. So this would be my B-roll footage, right? I would be like, here's the Fifine K669D. And, and you know, that 60 frames per second keeps it nice and smooth. And I can do some B-roll. It's Now, the thing about this camera is it is manual focus. So I can reach up here. And if I don't like how, you know, I can, I can fine tune here and get that manual focus on there. And once I got that locked in, dialed in, good to go. I honestly think this is a really good overhead B-roll cam. And that's what I was looking for. I was looking for a well-priced overhead B-roll cam. And I think I found it in, in the Vitate. But there are still things we can do here to make this look even better. Like we're just out of the box right now. So we can take the gamma down and get ourselves deeper blacks, get this behind us looking better. So I just knocked the gamma down to minus 0 0.30. And I like the deeper colors I'm getting out of that so far. We can take the contrast and we can elaborate on that a little bit. I kind of like that 0 0.42 there. So negative 0 0.42 on the contrast. I like my stuff kind of dark in a way. Saturation. Won't want to raise this much, but that might be a little too much at 0 0.23. Maybe it will go 0 point, uh, positive 0 0.19, and that's okay. The brightness, we can, uh, we don't want to go too high on that. We may not want to mess with that a whole lot. I'm still blown out just a little bit here, but I am liking what is happening a good bit. So let's see what else we can do here. We can sharpen it a little bit. Is that too sharp maybe? Or should we soften it? No. Eh, 0 0.07. We'll sharpen it a little bit. Still got that flicker going on. I don't love that. Usually that's not a problem, but the white screen not helping. Maybe we brighten up the gamma just a tiny bit from where it was. Still got that glow on the forehead sort of, but. I mean, in my opinion, 23, 24 bucks, 60 frames per second. Let's see what our B-roll looks like now that we've applied all this. See, we're a little darker on the wood here. That's what she said. The five fine is looking a little more uh, saturated, a little less washed. The colors are okay. But again, for a B-roll camera, kind of dig it. And then, you know, you got the lighting too. I can adjust some of my lighting here. I've got a little strip light here, a little less blowouty on the forehead. I've got a shiny forehead anyways, but the Vitae 23 bucks manual focus. Let's mess around with that a little bit. Blurry. 
We can get a little less grainy by adjusting the focus a little bit. Again, let's try a different background here because that's, that's kind of the main problem I have right now. Like this, I could be okay with this. Like I, I could actually, this isn't so bad. Again, there are some bright spots there, but we're talking 23 bucks, 60 frames per second. You know, a little bit different lighting. I, I've got a lot of lighting because this is not my main camera. So still somewhat happy with it. Let's, let's change the background. We'll go with this. It really picks up that light. It's, it's my overhead light is what it is. If it wasn't for that, uh, maybe it's the angle too. Maybe we can come down. Yeah. That just kind of reflects that light in the middle, but we've gotten rid of the flicker. So that's a plus. There we go. We've knocked a, a good bit of that light out just from angle alone. So there, there we go. How's that? That's a little wonky. It's a little odd, but, but it, it's starting to shape out the light a little bit. Overall though, again, $23, 60 frames per second, adjustable in OBS to an extent. Uh, I would love to be able to take the exposure down a little bit, but there are apps you can buy uh, to where you can adjust the exposure. Let me see if I can throw that on there real quick. Cause I, I did buy webcam settings on the Mac store. So we'll see what we can do here real quick, just as a last resort kind of uh the blowouts are a little less on the forehead now anyways you kind of get the idea for a 23 four dollar webcam i mean you you could easily get away with using this as your first youtube webcam and again b-roll shots man that's what it's all about i was looking for the b-roll shots and there you go the the big thing about the b-roll shots was the autofocus on these other cheap webcams was just, it's just autofocus isn't very good on them. So I highly suggest if you want to do some B roll with a cheap webcam, you go with a manual focus cam. So there we go. Looking pretty decent. Not great. I'd have to mess with it some more to get it exactly how I want, but I think this is okay, especially if I did some different lighting and stuff. I think it would work out really good, but I basically just wanted to show you that this webcam for this price is really quite tough to beat for a B-roll overhead cam. Skin colors, not the easiest to adjust, but again, you can get something close to usable. I don't hate this look. I don't love this look, but I certainly don't hate it. So Vitaid HFR 60 frames per second 1080p webcam is out of here. I'm sure it's got an actual model number. I'll put that in the description, I guess. But it's out of all the webcams I have owned thus far, including the Aki 1080p webcam, I prefer this. I like 60 frames per second. I actually really like the manual focus. I'm not trying to get no blurry bokeh background with this thing. I just want it to look kind of decent and sharp. And for it to be nice and smooth, which it is at 60 frames per second. Oh, yeah. I like it a lot. Link in the description. If you'd like to grab it as an overhead B-roll cam, that's what I think it's best at. But you can also shoot some pretty decent footage with it for a webcam. Talking head style stuff as well. Obscure tech, even though it says obscure mics. I'll see you guys next time.